Today, I share with you this simple Ghanaian Garden XU recipe. Very, very easy to put together and you are definitely going to love it. If today been your first time on this channel, hello, this is Cooking with F here. Kindly do subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on the post notification bell as well so that anytime I upload a new video on this channel, You'll be among the first person to be notified now without wasting my time let's dive right into it all right so since we're going to be making garden x2 obviously i'm going to be using garden x and i'm using the white garden x you can also go in with the red ones but basically we use the white ones for garden x2 right so i'll go ahead and wash it and cut the edges of this garden s just the way you see it on the screen is right now afterwards i will set it aside and i will transfer everything into my cooking pots i tell you if you want to make a very low budget garden x seal then this recipe is best for you very very tasty as well so i'll go in with some pepper as well add some water to it cover and allow it to cook Whilst the vegetables is cooking, I'll go ahead and start with the stew. So to a pot, I'll go in with some palm oil. You can also go in with any type of cooking oil of your choice. And to also elevate the taste of this palm oil, I'll go in with some cured fish or fermented fish. Trust me, when you go in with this kind of fermented fish, it will add extra taste to the palm oil and also to the stew as well. So I'll allow it to fry or to melt a little bit and after it has melted beautifully, I'll go in with some garlic and ginger paste as well. If you don't love the first taste of garlic and ginger in your stews, you can as well omit it totally. This is totally to my preference, all right? Allow it to fry for about two to three minutes on a low medium heat and afterwards it should be ready. So moving forward, I'll go in with some chopped onions. I'll list everything I use in the description box for you to check it out as always, all right? I'll stir very well and allow the onions to also fry for about two minutes. And after the onions has loosened up a little bit, I'll go in with some chopped fresh tomatoes. You can also go in with some tomato paste if that is what you want. But this time around, I'm going for the fresh tomatoes, all right? I will stir very well as well. I'll cover and allow it to cook until it's nice and ready. While that is going on, if you haven't still subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please do want to subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the post notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video on this channel, you'll be among the first person to be notified. Thank you so much for doing that. Alright, so I am back to check on my vegetables and it's doing all good and very, very soft now. So I'll set it aside for the meantime and I'll go back to check on the stew and it's doing all good and ready now. The fresh tomatoes has also loosened up a little bit and it's okay for me. So moving forward, I'll go in with some sardines. You can as well go in with any protein of your choice. Alright, so I'll stir very well. I'll cover and allow it to cook until the sardines also release its flavors to the stew very, very well. Alright, so while that is going on, let's go ahead and grind our vegetables, which is the cooked garden eggs and the peppers. So I'll grind until I reach the desired consistency that I want. While that is going on, let me also use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new foodie members right here you guys are amazing thank you for always liking my video sharing and commenting on my videos fam i am very grateful thank you so much for doing that all right so whilst we are done grinding the vegetables i am about to check on the stew and it's almost done so i'll go in with some eggs as well as i said you can use any protein of your choice so after going in with the eggs i'll cover it and allow it to cook until the eggs becomes very very scrambled to my liking All right. 
guys so now the eggs is nice and ready as you can see it's looking all good and very delicious so i'll go in with the grinded garden eggs and the pepper i will stir very well and allow it to fry or cook for about five to ten minutes on a low medium heat and so it's nice and ready Alright, so at this point, I realize I have less salt in the stew, so I'll go in with just a little bit of salt to taste. You can also go in with any additional seasoning if that is what you want, but this is just perfect for me, alright? Um, let me know in the comment section what you think about this garden egg stew it's on low budget and it came out so good and very very appetizing i hope you're going to try this recipe and you are definitely going to love this recipe let me also know in the comment section what you're going to pair with this kind of garden eggs i enjoyed mine with yam and plantain you can also enjoy yours with rice or any other thing of your choice thank you so much for watching this video to this point and kindly subscribe also for more videos every single week thank you so much and kindly stay blessed bye